Hey everybody, my name is Grant with April Air. Today we are going to show you a crawl space radon mitigation installation. Your kit will include couplers for easier install, a pressure alarm for an audible reminder if the system isn't working, a manometer for measuring pressure levels, and the fan itself. An optional accessory is a radon T to connect to your raceway. Our overall strategy with this crawl space install is to ensure an airtight seal of the vapor barrier. The first step is inspecting both the inside and the outside of the house to look for potential locations to install a radon system. As part of the initial inspection, something to consider is available electrical connections. Whether you install the fan outside or inside, make sure the disconnect is line of sight and within six feet of the radon fan. The general rule for the radon discharge is 10 feet horizontally away and four feet above any operable openings like windows and 10 feet above the ground. The reason behind these specific guidelines is to prevent radon gas from re-entering the home. The next step is to go through our normal encapsulation procedures. Every job is different, so this is where your expertise comes into play. As part of the normal encapsulation process, we want to remove any objects or debris that could puncture the vapor barrier. We want to be sure to seal any penetration points into the home, like pipes or ductwork. In addition, we need to make sure to seal any forms of air intrusion into the house. Take note of the foundation line. This includes the top course of hollow block walls. For most encapsulation installs, consider using a radon T to stabilize your piping. The wall has been cored to extend the piping system outside with the electrical connection located next to the piping. To make the installation easier, we recommend doing a cross pattern cut of the membrane that will create an airtight seal. Be sure to seal around the pipe where it penetrated through the wall. If installing the fan outside in colder climates, avoid placing it on the north side and consider using a condensate bypass. If installing the fan inside the house, avoid locating the fan at or under conditioned space. Here's an example of installing the fan in an unconditioned attic. In the case of significant pressure change, like if the fan were to fail or if there is a blockage in the pipe, the alarm will sound. For situations where you cannot install the alarm next to the fan, you can use a hose up to 50 feet away from the negative pressure side of the piping. Place the manometer on the negative pressure side as well. 
The manometer offers a direct measurement of system pressure. After the system has been up and running for two days and before a month, it's time to retest to make sure radon levels have been successfully reduced. Don't forget to provide the homeowner with a test kit. Thanks for watching our Crawl Space install video. If you have any questions, you can give us a call or visit our website at aprilairpartners.com. April Air is healthy air.